Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Everyone. Praise the Lord. Oh, God, I, we thank God for being once again on YouTube on the platform. Yes. To give you yes. the nuggets of the day. And as I mm. introduce to you, my sister. Minister Michelle. And, and Evangelist yeah. Sheila. Yes, yes. And today we're talking about families again. I, we're finding out that it's so important for people to learn more about families and what they look like. And so today, um, as we were out and about, we realized that after a moment, we kept trying to figure out why people were saying that me and Sheila and Billy Mae look alike. And they were like, are y'all sisters? And so we were like, well, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I said, um, I said, yes. I said, she's 54, she's 55, and I'm 56. And they were like, wow, look at that. One right after the other. And so um, what I realized is that when people are looking at us, they're looking at how well we blend in together. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, how much fun we're having together. Um, are we communicating together? Um, you know, Micaiah, they want to know, um, when people are looking at you, they're looking at how well you converse, how well you talk to each other. Are you mean to each other? Um, because some people don't, you know, when it comes to family, you know, they may see something totally different. Um, families breaking into fights. Mm -hmm. Emily's not getting along in some way, form, or fashion. So, yeah. what I did was I looked up what a family is. And so, um, Minister Michelle, before yes. you start, I wanted to add that, you know, this is something natural. This is something that we do from day to day. Um, you know, because people are always watching and paying attention when you think that they're not watching and paying yes. attention. Yes. And, you know, as women of God, you know, that we truly, truly all you, we have to live what we minister and teach and preach and you know people see that you know yes. when we're out in the unity and the love and you know what we're lacking in today's society in these last days is unity of you know families and extended families spiritual mm -hmm. families so i just thank god for that go ahead minister michelle yes. i'm sorry to interrupt you and that, no that's fine they needed to know that that's that's fine and actually we kind of do things um as god downloads them to mm -hmm. us Yes, uh, in fact, we didn't even know what we were going to talk about today, but because we realized that um, God was showing us something, not only in the spirit, but in the natural, and he mm -hmm. was showing us what uh, was naturally happening between me, Sheila, and Willie Mae, mm -hmm. and the reason why people couldn't tell whether or not we were family, they, they were like, y'all must be family, are y'all family, are y'all sisters? So um, I was like, wow, okay, mm -hmm. Lord. I get it. That is what we're supposed to be talking about today. So, um, y'all know me. I'm always going to look up something. Yes. So, looking at this, it says types and their unique family dynamics. So, you have the nuclear family and the nuclear families, also known as elementary or traditional families, consist of two parents, usually married or come along, and their children. But now there's a different take on what families look like. Mm. All right. You have your single parent family. Yes. You have your extended family. Yes. You have your uh, childless family, which that's a new one for me because yes. I didn't realize that. Uh, 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 I didn't think about the fact that a family can also be a childless family, meaning a group of people yes. that come together and become family, right? <coughs> And then you got your step family. Yes. And then you have your grandparent family. Yes, yes. And yes. the reason another reason why I believe we chose this is because um for those of you that have been tuning into the marriage chronicles, last night we talked a, a little bit about um we talked a little bit about family and money and things like that, because it was on um marriage, me and money. And um it was a great topic. Um uh, we appreciate the apostle. Apostle Noel Miller, y'all, we got to give a plug in for yes, him. Yes, yes. We have all come in like family to each other. And even when we all hang out or go to the store together or whatever, they they look at us like we're family. Yes, they do. Because that's how we are to each other. So 
moving it right along. Um, like right now, I got my little niece Makaya in the background making all that noise. <laughs> Make it down. And uh, anyway, y'all, you know, Auntie got to be on call when it's time. You know, sometimes your ba your your nieces they need you, and you just say, "Yeah, bring her on." And so I'm babysitting today. Me and Sheila end up keeping baby girl today, and she's just been such a joy. Um, Makai, would you like to come and say hi? No. Okay. So it says why family is important in our life. So, mm -hmm. and for one reason is when you need somebody to call on and say, hey, can you babysit or can yes. you watch so and so? And that's one reason. But it says families boost our confidence and make us feel loved. Yes. That word love is so important because not only are families, uh, we're talking about all those different types of families, but um, the school is a type of family as yes. well. You have your school family where your teachers come together and they're like family. And then yeah. you got your, your children in the school that you have yes. to love on. Yes. And um, you have to be like a mother or a father to these kids yes, and did. show them lots of love. Yes. And so, anyway, moving on. It says they are the pillows of our strength who never... Listen to this. Never fall and who never fall, but instead keep us strong as we become better people. We learn the values of love, respect, faith, hope, caring, yes. cultures, ethics, traditions, and everything else that concerns us through our families. Yes. So families help us to learn so many things mm -hmm. when you have a family. A family can just be two people. And and you can learn so much from each other, even with just two people in the family. So it says, what makes a family unique? And I'm going to have Sis read this little, um, it says, um, here's something that talks about making a family unique. Um, and guys, you know what? You have to remember what makes what makes your family unique. Because sometimes we we really don't know. Hold on, give me a second. We really don't know. A lot of times we have to think back to what mm -hmm. what is that unique part about your family. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this happens to be by Dr. Stephanie Smith. She's a psychologist, and she kind of like talks about what makes a family unique. And um and she even gives her own ideas. So, if you can start there, sis, and just kind of read some of those things mm -hmm. and make a family unique. Um, so, what makes your family, what makes your, your family and your family, not all families are the same. And if your household, some ideas might include being respectful of others. Mm -hmm. you, is your family respectful of others? Playing games together. Do you all right. spend time together? And that's a wonderful thing for family to play game, game together. Even the extended family. Yes. All of the families. I'm not going to leave out any of them because all of them are important. Right. Treating others with fairness. Taking care of, of the environment. Laughing every day. That's something that we do every day. Glory to God. Keeping a clean, organized home. Makaya. Being thankful for each other and what you have. Participating in religious activities together. That could be Bible study. Mm -hmm. That could be going to Bible study. Or some people even do Bible study at home. Too. Yes. That yes includes praise can. and worship. You know, exercising and being mindful of health. Taking part in new adventures. Watching movies. Learning about different people and places. Mm -hmm. Reading together. Reading the word of God. Or even, you know, little, um, what are those little lessons that we, uh, motivational lessons. And devotions. Yes, yes, yes. Um, telling jokes and stories to each other, traveling together, mm -hmm. and serving others in the community. Ah. And that is so important. Also, this ministry to women in the truck. 
Yes. Um, it's a ministry that goes outside of the pulpit. Mm -hmm. You know, ministries are not just at the pulpit. Not saying that the pulpit is not important. It is. All parts of ministry are important. But yes. it's important for us to go out and be vessels of the Lord unto the community. Yes. The people that need to hear the word of God. That's yes. where evangelism comes in for both of us. Yes. Ministering and evangelism out into the world mm -hmm. and into the communities. Because some people don't know about Jesus Christ. That's right. They don't know about the good news. Mm -hmm. So here I am getting ready to get started again. <laughs> so I'm just going to slow myself down a little bit <laughs> because that is very important that the word of That's God okay, is for the good news yeah. in the spiritual armor, not only the helmet of salvation, the Come breastplate, now. now the sword, which is the word of God, Come the belt, which now. is the belt of truth, Teach the feet, it. which brings the good news and the peace. Absolutely. See, we are sheep out for the slaughter every day yes. and we're persecuted for his yes. namesake so we're bringing forth the word out into the communities everywhere we go God everywhere. will use us as a vessel he has a defined timing in our lives for every reason and every situation Absolutely. I'm going to turn it back over to you the minister <laughs> Michelle y'all I love it you see what happened when she get on fire this is what happens when she gets on fire and this is what it's all about we have to know that um, it's important to hear each other out. Mm -hmm. And um, it's important to find out where your family is, even in their own um, culture, in their own um, beliefs. Mm -hmm. Because some of us, even though we learn one way yep. in the home growing up, yep. we end up learning other mm -hmm. ways as well. Yeah. Especially when we talked about last night, that blended. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bringing in that blended family, you bring those yes. blended families together, and you just you got to think. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. What I'm used to spending when I'm with just you know me and my child. Now we got to bring in somebody else's yes. child along into the family. Now we got to think about okay, this child likes this, this child likes that. Are we gonna come in together and work together as a family? And so. Um, and that's so important, you know, it's so important um, to know these things when it comes to families. And what Sheila and I has learned is that a lot of times she and I, we, we like a lot of things, mm -hmm. you know, it's similar. And um, I'm going to tell you something funny. Um, uh, we in the store today and, you know, we were looking at different hair products and things like that. And. She said, um, sis, I'm going to get this for you today. And I said, oh, okay. And and I started laughing and chuckling because uh, my other sister, she said, why is she saying like that? I said, because I'm the world's worst. I'm always the one running up, going ahead, paying for the products or whatever. Even in the food, I'm always I'm mm -hmm. trying to hurry up and pay. Like today, she heard them pay for our food. Now we go through this. This is something daily that we go through. It's like we're on an obstacle course, you know, on sabbatical. You know what I'm saying? To see who gonna do it first, you know. Yeah. And that's a wonderful thing with me because Minister Michelle has taught me, you know, and us being women of God and vessels for the Lord, yeah. we have to get conditioned and prepare ourselves, and we have to prepare ourselves for different things because there's been some areas in my life where I didn't know how to receive because I was always a giver yeah. and she's teaching me that you know as well as I tell her you know love and be good to yourself as well because we know that God loves us and to love God first because he's the foremost and first one in your life and the relationship with him teaches you how to love Absolutely. and how to do relationship because first the relationship starts with God Amen. so you can't do anything without him we need Come him now. first you know, we need him in our lives first. He is the forefront. Yes. Everything else falls behind God. But yes. God is the one. And when they say that song, the old old school, old church used to say, the old saints, Jesus is on the main line. He Tell is the main line. Yes, Tell him what is. you want. The heartbeat, the blood that runs through our bodies is because of Jesus, the breath of yes. life. So now, Minister Michelle, I'm going to turn it back over to you again. <laughs> Um, well, you know what? We always say we want to give you little nuggets. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are almost at our 15-minute mark. Mm -hmm. And so in these last couple of minutes, I just want to say that it is, has been a honor and a privilege to be a sister to this lady right here. Mm -hmm. She has a beautiful soul. She has a beautiful and loving soul. And I told her that it doesn't matter you know, it, it 
it's okay to have money if you can spend it, mm-hmm. spend it. Um, and she know I'm always trying to do something nice for her because she's worthy of it. And even when we go out places, you know, I always tell her, honey, have you ever been here? And she'll say, no, never been there. And so we have been all over Winston-Salem. Yes, we have. And um, and I've taken her, you know, we, we traveled. She's never been to Triad Park, never been to the Quarry Park. Guys, I'm telling you, there's parks out here that some yes, families is. have never been to. And they live right here in Winston-Salem. Take your families out. I know that it's hot outside, but that's okay. Take them to the park, even if it's just for 30 minutes of sunshine, exercise, get in some of God's fresh uh, breath of fresh air. Um, It will do the body good. Mm -hmm. Believe me, it's so much better than sitting in the house and everybody sitting in the house watching a movie or watching Mm -hmm. the TV, you know. You know, and then sooner or later you become a couch potato and all this stuff. And so we want to come away from that being inside all the time. Mm-hmm. Y'all, Jesus did not stay in. Yeah, inside. Mm-hmm. No, he did not. He mm-hmm. did not. Jesus walked everywhere. Yes, he did. He was an outdoorsman. That's what I mm-hmm. call him. The great outdoorsman. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because yes. he believed in getting out and walking and going to the people. Okay? Now, I know nowadays ain't nobody finna walk across town. They ain't trying to do 10 miles unless you Once can't help it. I did walk across and town a couple of times. I really did. Well, well I'm you just... You know, some people do. You know, but this point in time, we're talking about now. And this time, yes, yes. you don't find many people that are going to do that. Absolutely. So, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. And I just we just want to give you a nugget today about family. Remember... You have all types of families Mm -hmm. and even in a single family where it's a single parent family or whether it's just um, the grandparents and the children or if it's, you know what I'm saying, it can be the auntie taking care of the children or the uncle or the dad. Yes. I mean, there's all types of families out here, guys. But guess what? Uh, There is plenty to do out here. We don't have to be inside all the time Mm -hmm. and even when you're inside like she mentioned there's games you can play Mm -hmm. with your child or even husband and wife if it's just a husband and wife team yeah and you want to play a game you know i've I've heard some husband and wife say they play games like trouble Mm -hmm. sorry uno Mm -hmm. monopoly Mm -hmm. why because these are our early childhood games that we played before Mm -hmm. Some of us. And then some people never play these games. It's exciting to do something different sometimes. And so it can add to the relationship, Mm -hmm. the family relationship. So with that being said, we're going to get ready to wrap this up because we're getting towards our 20 minute mark. Yes, we are. And we try to keep um, with the time. And I just want to give thanks um, to all of you who are out there who have families and you are doing your very best to love on your children. And for those of you who have husbands and wife teams, you're doing your very best to love on each other. And um, and I love my sister here. We do our best to love on each other as well. Yes, we do. And we really had a good time, me, her, and Willie Mae. We just had a, a really good time. We really did. Just we hanging did. out. We didn't do a lot, y'all. We just hung out together. That's all. Just had some sister time together. And I thank God for that. And with that being said, we're going to get ready to pray. Yes. And then we're going to end at after the prayer. And remember, if anybody has any prayer requests, while you're on this segment, please be sure to just send us. You can tap it in. You can type it in the comment section saying, please lift me and my family up in prayer. Okay? We'll be more than happy to. And we would like to say we'd like for you to share and subscribe Yes. Um, on this platform as well as the House of Power. Yes. Service starts at 11 a.m. in the morning. We do have our Marriage Chronicles, hoo, hoo, which yes. is so, so powerful as so well. So powerful. Um, it's on Friday nights. It starts mm-hmm. at 6.30. Then we have our two women in the truck. Um, God is moving in this ministry and moving in our lives. And we know that he's going to move in your lives in well, as well as you stay tuned and you listen and receive the nuggets and the word of God. And I want you all to be encouraged be not weary in your well-doing. Yes. Just keep moving forward. And I just want to leave the scripture in before we pray. 
it says it's coming from Psalms 133 and 1. How good and pleasant is it when God's people live together in unity? Amen. Oh, you know, we all need to live together in unity and love your brother and sister. How can you say that you love the Lord and you don't love your brother and sister? You know, and, and to love on one another. And if your brother needs something, even if it's a glass of water or food, and, and God puts in your heart and your spirit to help your brother or sister, please do it. Yeah. Because it's all about love. You know, God is love. And if we are examples of him, God is a God of love. So who are we to pick and choose who we want to love? Yeah. So at this point, I'm, we're going to go into prayer because I will sit here all day long. Yes, because we're at the 20 minutes. And so we're going to have Minister Michelle go and pray and close us out of this time. Yes. Excuse me for a second. Excuse me. We're getting ready to have prayer, so you understand? Okay, thank you. Father God, we just thank you so, so much for this day. We thank you, God, and we honor you for this is the Sabbath day. We thank you, Lord, for um, those that um, worship on this day, God. We thank you for those that come together as families, Lord God. We give honor to you in every day of the week that we can come together and praise you and give you the glory and give you the honor, God. We give you praise, Lord God. We thank you because of who you are. Lord God, whether we worship on on Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday night, prayer meeting, Tuesday night, prayer meeting, Lord God, we just grateful and thankful for every moment and time that we can get to come together as a family. Lord God, even as one-on-one -on -one with the Father, Lord God, to talk to you about our problems. As the song says, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. And God, we're asking that you cover each and every family, Lord God, all those that tap into the two women in the truck ministry. Lord God, we ask that you keep them, Lord God. We ask that you keep our families, Lord. Keep us together, Lord God. Give us what we need, God. Give us everything that we need as a family, Lord God. Help us to love one another. In your name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen, amen. Until next time, stay tuned for Two Women in the Truck Ministry. We love you. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. And remember, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Hallelujah. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want.